Hello, Professor. The recent topic of our group is axis and comparison of the economic situation of the United Kingdom and Germany from 2000 to 2020. First, we must know that the UK is the first industrialized country in the world, with a population of 58.9 million in 2000, growing to 67.2 million in 2020. Germany's population uh, has grown from 82.2 million in 2000. Uh, to 83.2 million in 2020. In terms of population base, uh, Germany is much larger than the UK from 2000 to 2007. The inflation rate of both countries was 2 to 3 percent, however, from 2007 to 2009, uh, both countries were affected by the financial crisis. The UK inflation rate rose to a maximum of 5.2% uh, and then dropped rapidly to 1.3%. Then it uh, fluctuated until the new crown epidemic in 2020 followed by the unit unemployment rate, uh, which rose sharply from 5.2% to 8.5%. The Germany inflation rate is relatively small compared to the UK. Uh, in 2009 to 2020, uh, there was mild deflation after a peak of 3.4% uh, and then remained relatively stable uh, at 0 to 2.5%. Uh, uh, the unemployment rate continued to decline. It can be seen the Germany's uh, monetary policy, market flexibility, and the economic policy are stable and excellent. Judging from the overall growth turn of the country's economy, the UK's GDP growth rate has remained stable at 2% to 3% from 2000 to 2020. Except for the financial turmoil in 20, 2007 and 2008, the GDP growth rate dropped to the minus 4.2%, while in 2019 severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. GDP fell sharply from the 1.7% to minus 9.3%. Change in the German fluctuated greatly range from the 3.8% to minus 0.7% from 2000 to 2007, but the extreme value fluctuated while small. It fell to minus 5.6% in both 2008 and 2019. In 2020, the UK's GDP is 2.83 trillion US dollars, and the per capita GDP is 30,406 US dollars, while the German GDP is 3.86 trillion US dollars, and the per capita GDP is 45,733 US dollars. The consumption volume of the two countries did not fluctuate greatly and both continued to rise. It is worth mentioning that due to the outbreak of the epidemic in 2019, the total consumption of the two countries has risen sharply for the first time in nearly 30 years, mainly for tournament exp expenditure and protective equipment expenditure. It can be seen. It can be seen that the overall econ economic strength of the Germany is slightly stronger than that of the UK, making it first large a money in the world. In 2000, UK exports were worth 283.2 billion dollars, compared to Germany's 551.8 billion dollars. Uh, in 2020, the UK's total exports were $687.6 billion, while Germany's was $1,233.9 billion. The main reason is that the main industries in the UK are the service industry and the financial industry, and the exports are relatively small. Uh, while Germany is mainly a machinery manufacturing industry, there are a large number of exporting countries and a huge amount of exports. Total UK imports grew from 
2766.4 billion dollars in 2000 to 6615.4 billion dollars in 2020 while germany grew from 789.3 billion dollars in 2000 to 1285.6 billion dollars in 2020 in the field of investment the amount of british investment fluctuates greatly, which is directly related to a series of poli policies adopted by the country. On the other hand, the investment volume in Germany showed uh, an upward trend and was relatively stable, but the exchange rate, the exchange rate of the pound plummeted after the economic crisis in 2008 and has not recovered until 2020. The exchange rate of the uh, Deutsche Mark uh, also depreciated a lot during the financial crisis, but in 2015, the situation improved significantly. The UK was affected by the slowdown in world economic growth in 2001, but the UK did well, and economic growth avoided a massive contraction in output like the US. Since the middle of 2003, domestic demand has been strong and the most important factor is the growth of housing demand. But government spending is also increasing, and investment has resumed. So the growth of domestic demand is extensive. So the UK raised interest rate five times before other countries, and these policies are now having an effect. This is preemptive action that has successfully prevented the economic from overheating and has resulted in stable and balanced growth in the UK economic. In 2001, in response to the economic downturn caused by the terrorist attack, Germany continuously expanding physical expenditure and increasing government transfer payments to stimulate domestic effective demand. In 2007, the German government continued to implement a structurally tight fiscal policy, cutting government spending substantially. In 2008, the economic crisis broke out and the government was forced to adopt an expansory fiscal policy. This is our group's analysis of the economic situation and policy of Germany and UK for almost 20 years. Thank you for listening.